Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you to those who take the moment to support our channel. All our viewers, subscribers and our sponsors, may God bless you very much. If you are watching us for the first time, allow me to request you to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the notification bell so that YouTube will automatically recommend our videos to you. You can also give uh, this video a uh, thumbs up. Today is a very significant day for William Samoy Ruto because the CS Minister Njuguna Ndung is going to read the maiden budget in the Kenya Kwanza administration. This is going to be the 2023-2024 budget that carries the aspiration and the vision of the Kenya Kwanza regime. All the promises that they gave are going to be summarized in this budget. And of course, as usual, there is a lot of tension in the country because many Kenyans argue that William Ruto has got the appetite to tax everyone. It is coming just a day after the, fi the controversial finance bill sailed through in its second reading. Now, Njuguna Dung is, al is also going to have his time because this usually takes hours for him to read and convince the entire National Assembly that this is the best budget in the history of Kenya. As this was happening, Parliamentarians confirmed the anxiety within the country because immediately the CS Njuguna Ndungu walked in and began his speech. The Zimio MPs heckled him and walked out. The Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, could not do anything. He watched speechlessly, silently, as the members of Parliament walked out in protest. One was asking, what are they protesting about? They're protesting against the high cost of living, against, against the, 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 the high taxation, the proposed taxation, and they proceeded in chanting songs, the usual Wakenya Msilale, Bado Mapambano. Ada mm. Minister Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And they were they they, they, they are uh, advising the hustlers not to sleep, not to relent, not to relax. And they are urging Kenyans that this is the moment to stand up and rise up against this government. Now this is very humiliating to CS Ndung because when a government is reading its budget, this budget is supposed to be welcomed by both sides, both the government and the opposition, so that they debate it amicably, soberly, because in this budget, if it is passed, it is going to directly impact on the lives of Kenyans. So Nyuguna Dungu reading his maiden budget and the opposition is walking away is a day that he will never forget. It's not really good for him. Moses Wetangula is also receiving memories that he will not forget because he sits there 
and members are walking out. He restored uh, calmness in the parliament and he told the minister to continue. But this signifies, it's, it, it identifies what is going to happen because when this budget is read today, the parliamentarians are going to take their moment from day to day moving forward discussing every chapter, every sector, because this is the budget that is going to give us their location in each and every sector, in education, in security, the hustlers fund and everything. And from this we are going to know which area has been taxed, which area have they imposed too much taxation. And we really thought that Yuguna would take his moment and convince his people, but as it is, it seems the Azimio have drawn the battle line. They are not ready to listen. I think it is because of the previous events. They know very well that this regime is playing to the international gallery. Already it is now in the, in the open that the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, is the one that is responsible for these high taxations because they want to ensure that they have surety that their money will be given back. So ladies and gentlemen, that budget is still being read. We will continue to update you as, 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 as uh, they transpire. And I know five hour works is looming. What has happened now is that the Kenya Kwanzaa team has been left alone. They are listening to the, 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 the reading of the budget. Usually, in a quagga term, when both sides are listening to it, but from what is happening, the Azimio would have none of it. They are not ready to listen to it because they have judged that this budget is going to be very huge. It is going to be a big burden on Kenyans. And that is why they were singing Msilali. They are just urging them to, to, to stand up and rise to be counted. And uh, let us keep our ears open. We will continue updating you, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching. Let's meet on another video.